you know, football is obviously important, but I think the most important thing right now is doing everything we can for our city. I will tell you right now, we're going to dedicate this season to the city of Houston. Sunday night's loss to the Chiefs was a devastating one for the Houston Texans. Some sad news for J.J. Watt fans. We're learning the Texans star's season is over. Last night, fans could be seen crying in the stands when J.J. Watt was taken off the field. So it's definitely heartbreaking to hear that J.J. Watt and Whitney Merciless both in the same night, both their number one draft picks would be out for the rest of the season. Wilson for touchdown! For me, Deshaun Watson was the most exciting thing, even in a loss at Seattle. This was one of the most impressive rookie performances that I've seen in a long time. Devastating news for the Texans and their rookie quarterback, Deshaun Watson. But when you look at Deshaun Watson, it's finally like the Houston Texans had their franchise quarterback. But then for this Texans team, I don't see a way forward for him. And he continues to go. Let's see if he was whistled down. I believe he's whistled down at about the 33, but he's celebrating a touchdown. The injuries just keep piling up for Bill O'Brien, and at some point, the Houston Texans are not going to be able to overcome it. I think Jared Goff makes a couple plays, and they win this ball game. Play action for Goff. Goff, deep ball. Robert Woods, he's got it! Robert Woods, he is gone! Touchdown, Rams! When, when you look at, at, at the Texans, really, offensively, I mean, let's be honest, who do they have? And boy, what a tough task for T.J. Yates uh, coming in for the injured Tom Savage. Texans second to last in the entire conference last year. So if they do make it to the playoffs, that would be a massive turnaround. They finished four and twelve after so much promise a season ago, Willie. So when it comes to them getting into that second season, that that playoff tournament, it's going to be their biggest obstacle this year. Health. They got to stay healthy. This much excitement for football in Houston for like 25 years. I think they're the most watchable team in the NFL. Rams be damned, and I think they're one of the best. GM since Rick Smith announced that he was going to take an extended leave of absence back on December 31st. It looks like they found the guy for the job. What do we need to know about Brian Gaines? This year, with the healthy bodies and the new quarterback, they can go from the almost team to the all the way team. It's an honor and privilege to be the next general manager of the Houston Texans. It is a privilege to be entrusted with such a leadership role here at the Texans. Texans are the favorite to win the division. Dan, is that an overreaction? It is an overreaction, Wendy. I want to thank the McNair family for entrusting me with this great opportunity to lead and work with Coach O'Brien and the Texans organization in building a collaborative process to help bring a winner to the Houston Texans fan base and to the city of Houston. They added Aaron Colvin, so I like that to go along with the pieces that they already have in place in Romeo Cornell's defense. And we will be intent on building a smart, tough, disciplined football team with players who love the game of football. If free agency presents the opportunity for us to add a championship piece to the roster, we certainly will pursue that. We want competitors team players, but equally we want good people and a good locker room. Team and chemistry will be critically important to how we build this team. We want men of character who are committed to the efforts of winning on and off the field. We will be intent on building a program as much of a team in every aspect of how we build our football operation. Well, I need a dollar, 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 that's what I need. Hey, hey. But apparently 
Kelly, you said yesterday on NFL Network that you've been asked to take a pay cut. Tyron Matthew. Yeah, do we, talk about it. Do we know where he's going? So, seriously though, like you're not having regular conversations with the team at this point? Whatever team decides to take a chance on Tyron is going to be awesome. Tyron Matthew has found a new home to be heading to the Houston Texans. The Honey Badger is headed to the Texans. Are the Texans a contender? With uh, Matthew joining a healthy Watson and Watts? You know, I just want to come to a group uh, where guys were hungry. Um, you know, obviously I'm, I'm very hungry uh, at this point in my career. So he is joining a group that is hungry. Why? Because they haven't done anything. Well, I just want to prove my point that I'm, you know, one of the best safeties in this league. Um, obviously I had some setbacks. At what point do you say, I, I, I can't do this anymore? Not yet. We're both from track, and um, everyone else that's in the training room, that's rehabbing, getting ready for the next season, is doing the same thing. So the rehab and, and the process has been smooth. Um, we're on track, and I'm uh, looking forward to the next season. To have a guy that you, you know has the confidence, has the ability, can go out there and do it for you, uh, is exciting. And obviously sad to have lost him this year, but being in rehab with him every day and uh, having a chance to work with him on a daily basis is a lot of fun, and I think we're going to do some great things in the future. Um, I can get through this situation, and I'm going to come back stronger. I mean, we're going through a tough time together. I mean, nobody wants to be in the situation either of us were in. Um, and so, you know, you you learn a lot about each other and you also help each other in so many ways. I mean, rehab's tough when you're going through a long process where you have to watch the other guys playing and practicing and you can't be out there. So we each had our down days and we helped pick each other up. You might have heard the JJ passed his conditioning test already. Fake news. No, according to Mort, he crushed his conditioning <laughs> test. That is the official report, he crushed it. How good can he be? Can can he? He said he wants to chase the goat. He wants to chase Tom Brady. Yeah. Is Deshaun Watson that good? Uh, I believe if he puts his mind to it, he can do it. You know, he's a very determined guy. But at the end of the day, we both know it's, it's our job to take this team where we want to go and help lead them in the right direction. Unfortunately, we have a lot of guys in the rehab room, but at the same time, that also gives us a lot of time to talk and work together. The Houston Texans will be in the playoffs. Sean Watson is your starter, stays healthy for 16 weeks. From day one, I was always super excited about this recovery. I was super optimistic. I have a great attitude. I'm very positive about it. Uh, you know, but, but seeing him mature, uh, not just on the field, but off the field, you know, I can't wait. There's days where you take a step back, and then there's days where you take two steps forward. Just being who I am, uh, doing what I did last year, uh, if not better, and just keep grinding. Deshaun Watson, full go. J.J. Watt, full go. Like he's not going to be a different person when he gets back on the field. I mean, going through rehab is hard, and going through these injuries and everything is difficult. You're going to have your down days, but we have so many great guys and there with great attitudes and a lot of confidence that we build each other back up, and we do have conversations about what can be and what our team does have the potential to be. I'd say their expectations are Super Bowl or not. Like that's it. If, if Deshaun Watson's healthy, this is a Super Bowl contending team. But as far as like who runs the show, who owns this division, it is the Texans' sweeping victory. Well, ever since the Astros won the title back in November, now everybody in Houston thinks that this is now title town. They got the quarterback back healthy. Right. They think that this is either Super Bowl or bust for this coming year. Well, if I had to give you a shot at Super Bowl prediction, <laughs> what do you got for me? I like Houston. I love Houston. I love Houston's team. I think I, I love Deshaun Watson. I, I've loved Deshaun Watson, you know, since he was at Clemson and on Dabo Sweeney naming him Michael Jordan. And there's this clip of Bill O'Brien and he's screaming at his team. He's like, I don't want to be the almost team. We almost made the tackle. We almost made the playoffs. They can go from the almost team to the all the way team. I think the Texans can win the Super Bowl this year. Wow. Creatures of my dreams raise
It's a foot race, and he is in for the lead. Touchdown again. Rookie quarterback Deshaun Watson is red hot. Oh, my goodness. Did he catch that? Did he catch that? Somebody's woke up this defense from the Houston, Texas. First down and four, and Deshaun Watson to the end zone. Touchdown. He has a four-minute chance. Without a helmet, J.J. Watt will always put his fingerprints on the game. Jonathan Joseph, pick six for Houston. Jademi on Clowney takes it all the way. J.J. says game over. Enough. Game over. What's your response to people who say, I like Trubisky more than Watson? And then you're going to have to live with the, the consequences that come with it.